Hey guys, welcome to my channel of Four Paws Approved. This episode will be going over product put out by Night Eyes. So it came in a package of two. It came with a little neck pendant, what they call the Spotlight, and then the Glow Streak Disco Version Glow in the Dark LED Ball. Actually, it's not Glow in the Dark, it's just an LED ball. All right, so the pendant itself has two modes. It, the first mode goes through a whole bunch of fun colors and then the second mode is a blink mode. So to turn it on, one click, and then as you can see, it cycles through a whole bunch of fun colors. To turn it off, one click. To get to the blink mode, it's two clicks, one, two, and it only blinks in the red mode. Turn it off, click once. So you can attach this to the collar, the dog's harness, um, the leash or any other gear that your dog is wearing. This just increases the visibility of your dog, especially during the winter months when it starts getting dark around five o'clock. You just make you more visible to cars, other walkers, bikers. If you're camping, this is really great to click on your dog at night so that you know where your dog is at night. Or if you're playing ball or anything in the fields or the backyard where it's dark and you just need to have visibility of your dog, this is really, really great for that. Now, I don't recommend taking this swimming just because it is not waterproof. Personal experience, it definitely destroys this and it'll never turn on again. But I would say it's water resistant because um, we have played in the rain and in the snow and it has not destroyed this. Uh, so I would say water resistant, not waterproof. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the Glow Streak. So the Glow Streak is a nice rubber ball. It's got fun grooves on it. The LED and batteries is housed in a separate compartment inside the ball itself. So to get at it, you have to unscrew this little belly button here. And that screw system makes this LED compartment waterproof. So you can play in the water if you like. I have not tried that personally, um, but it says that it is waterproof. So this is pretty darn fun. The light itself is motion sensor. So you have to give the ball a pretty hard bounce and then it turns it on. So it goes through the disco colors uh, as it cycles through, allows you to see the ball. It's really fun playing with it in the dark because you just see all these fun colors glowing around. You don't waste time when you're playing fetch with your dog. Searching for the ball, the dog will always see it and be able to catch and retrieve it. All right, so disclaimer, this ball is not for the dog that is a chew and destroy or your heavy chompers. Um, just because there is an LED and battery inside this and when ingested those things are very dangerous. So I highly recommend if you just have dogs that like to go get the ball and retrieve it back to you back and forth back and forth. This is a really great toy. If they chew on it that's totally fine but it's the chomp and destroy behavior which makes it dangerous. So if you have a chomp and destroy dog I'd recommend finding a different toy. Um, but if you have a dog that loves to retrieve the ball, bring it back and forth, maybe a few chews, this is totally fine for them. All right, so we did have a dog that, or we do have a dog that is a chop and destroy, and that's how I found out. So he took a pretty good chunk out of this toy, and then there's a whole bunch of uh, chew and bike marks, and I was like, this toy is not for you and I do not want a unexpected vet visit for you. So he plays with a different ball while the other dogs play with these LED balls. So when it's not had motion for about 10 minutes and goes into a blink mode, this is the blink mode. This is telling you, hey, I'm about to turn off. Please come find me because I should not be left alone with your dogs because again, there's a battery, there's LED, there's things inside of here that could possibly be dangerous if your dog decides to dissect the ball. Um, so it'll start blinking, this allows you to find it and then put it up and away from your dogs when you're done playing with it. Um, all right, so I've had this about six months and with a lot of use and abuse, I'd say this ball is a win in our book and we will continue to buy it for our dogs. All right, so I think I've talked enough, so let's go ahead and toss this off to the pups.